Iran and Pakistan are heavily armed neighbors with a history of tense relations, which escalated earlier this month after Tehran launched a missile strike on a site inside Pakistan. Two days later, Pakistan retaliated by launching an attack of its own inside Iran. The cross-border violence has been the worst in recent years and raise alarm about a potential wider instability in the region, especially given the war on Gaza. Pakistan recalled its ambassador from Tehran after the attack. But soon after, intense diplomatic efforts eased tensions and they agreed to return their ambassadors to their respective capitals. But many have been questioning the reason behind Iran's attack. Iran basically wanted to pacify its internal a pressure from the people that at the same time Iran struck in Syria, in Iraq, in Pakistan, it wanted to give a strong message to its people that uh, it is capable to protect or to, uh, to take revenge. A top Iranian Revolutionary Guard general was killed in a suspected Israeli strike in Syria in December. And earlier this month, ISIL took responsibility for an attack that killed more than 90 people in the Iranian city of Kerman. In response, Iran attacked a base in Erbil in northern Iraq on January 15th, saying it was a spy center run by Israel's secret service Mossad before striking the Pakistani group a day later. Iranian foreign minister has gone to Pakistan to restore damaged ties. His spokesperson has a positive message for Islamabad. I want to repeat that the relations between Iran and Pakistan are strong, friendly and brotherly. The two countries agree on respecting sovereignty and territorial integrity. Iran and Pakistan are facing significant security and economic challenges. For the time being, both sides say they want to avoid further escalation. Priyanka Gupta, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.